welcome back to the Hermitcraft FTV server. Things have changed a little bit since the last video. Uh, since then, I've done a live stream in which I did actually get a little bit of stuff accomplished. And if you know, uh, if you were uh, on the, if you were there and watched the live stream, then you know what it was that I managed to get done. And I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, let's see. I started a third quarry running, or. The th or rather, I moved my quarry to a third location and restarted it. And I think it's actually getting close to being done because very little is coming up here now. Uh, let's see. Bigger changes are down here. And the biggest one is right there. This was the main goal, the object of the live stream the other day was to get through all of the pain of Greg Tech involved in building the matter fabricator and getting it working. And it is working. It's produced about a little over a stack and a half of UU matter so far. And I even took the first piece and framed it up there next to the first piece of iridium ore that I dug up, or that my quarry dug up. And uh, let's see, I've got this thing loaded with scrap boxes. I did some looking around finally. I had asked several people and I got an input both ways. Some saying that it makes a difference and some saying that it doesn't. And so I looked around and I finally found out that scrap boxes do amplify. They amplify 45,000 whereas regular scrap amplifies nine or 5,000. And so scrap boxes amplify actually in a way the same as scrap. It's just that the scrap boxes are like putting nine pieces of scrap in at the same time. So that's what that's all about. The upgraded recycling system has had no problem at all keeping up with the quarry. And uh, I think that if I were to set the timer to like two, maybe three seconds, three seconds, maybe two seconds, something like that, then this thing could easily keep up with two quarries, perhaps three. I may find that out sometime. Another thing that I've built recently, and I did this one off camera, was an assembly table and lasers with some uh, magmatic engines up there to power it, and I need to turn that off because they're not doing anything right now. And I've been making my own chipsets and gates and whatnot now. It's a slow process, but the nice thing about having a chunk loaded area on a server is that I can start some, some something like this going before I log off and it's finished when I log back on the next day. Not exactly fast, but it works. I've finally gotten to where I've got some more resources again. I've got a decent amount of redstone and so on and the diamond production has been very good after the last two quarry runs I now have a stack and a half of diamond so very good but the thing is that this matter fabricator is eating power like crazy I've got three MFSU's up there and Last night when I logged on for a while, I shut everything down and I let them charge up to full charge. And then I started the matter fabricator going again before I logged out. I had just checked on it a little bit ago and they are all three of them empty. 30 million EU gone. So power production is paramount importance. And that's why not only have I finished the 64 solar panels, I have begun the process of upgrading them to 64 advanced solar panels. And really all I need now is, let's see, another 33 advanced machine blocks and what is that, 52 advanced circuits. Okay, so advanced machine blocks are here. I need 32 more machine blocks, which I'm making there, and uh, I need the advanced circuits I'm making here, and for that I need 
circuits which I'm making here and I've discovered by the way that if I use electrum instead of redstone in the circuit recipe I get two circuits instead of one so what I need to do I need to get some more copper and grab some of this rubber that I've processed recently and I need to go ahead and uh, take that out of there for a moment and go ahead and make up some more copper cable this one I got I did get two stacks of copper only caught one of them okay all right so we'll pop this in here like so get this recipe set back up and that was dumb because I needed to get some more electrum in here and I started some electrum cooking last time I was on so it should be here in the chest okay electrum and what else I'm seeing is iron in here and that means the barrel for iron is full excellent okay refined iron plenty of that Alright, let's get some Electrum in here. 52 electronic circuits. And we need the Electrum over here now. Because this recipe using Electrum will make two instead of one that you get with Redstone. And BAM! That was all of the Electrum. So I should probably need to make up some more of that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pop these in there. 14 more advanced circuits and we're in business. Alrighty. Excellent. Let's get a stack of gold and a stack of silver. Disable the output and pulverize a stack of gold and a stack of silver and combine the two dusts to get Electrum Blend. Meanwhile, we need some machine blocks. How many do I need? 32 machine blocks. That's not going to be enough. Okay, that was weird. I flew over there and ended up being stuck flying. I'd never seen that happen before. Okay, I didn't put the iron in there. 28, 29, 30, 1, 2. Pop these in here. 32 advanced machine blocks. Drop those in here. And now all I need is 14 advanced circuits. And that's going to wait on the Electrum. Which I should be ready to make some of. Alright, silver dust and gold, and we got electrum dust. So we'll just drop that up into the furnace. Let these two go ahead and finish off, because I know I'm going to need more electrum later. And there it's going through the pipes, and it'll end up in the chest. Alright. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and make as many of these as I can. 49 advanced solar panels. All right, with 15 more coming down the pipe in just a moment. All right, I'm going to need 
Yeah, I need one more of those. I didn't pull the last one out, did I? All right. Two more. Up to 53. All right, we almost have the stack of advanced solar panels. It's been a long time coming, but there we go. Fifty-seven. We're getting real close here. Come on with the Electrum. Ho, ho, ho. Two more. Two more advanced circuits, and we've got this. And I just picked up the stuff for the last two. One stack of advanced solar panels. All right. Now I need to get some of those diamonds and some silver some glass make up some cable as a matter of fact I gotta look real quick if I can learn to spell correctly glass fiber cable with silver gets you six with Electrum gets you eight. All right, so we'll go with using some Electrum. Where's the glass? Here's the glass, okay. We have glass fiber cable. We have advanced solar panels. Let's do something up here. Boost power production. We can go ahead and take this mess out of here now, finally. Start generating more power. Let's have a look. Generating 8 EU per tick. And it's all getting sucked away by that stuff down there. But that's alright. It's free power. During the daytime anyway. I understand these things do generate a certain amount of power at night, but not nearly as much.
Okay, and I still have 16 panels to go, and I've run out of room on this side. So, I'm just going to go ahead and hang them off the edge of the building here. I don't really think it's going to be a problem. Go ahead and build a temporary thing to stand on, because it's easier to do this when not flying. Flying is cool, but there are times when it doesn't help. Anticipation of eventually expanding this to inc include more solar panels. So, 80 U per tick times 64 solar panels. And it's still not keeping up with the demand with that matter fabricator running. Let me go ahead and turn that thing off for a little bit. I found that it, that's the only way anything's going to charge. I go down here and disable this thing. And then this bar here will go all the way over and uh, this machine will be fully charged. And then it'll stop draining power. At least I think it will. And if it won't, I'll break the line going to it. This machine is the one thing in the entire game that I know of that can actually accept up to 8192 EU per tick. Which is frankly insane, but what the heck. Okay, it looks disabled. Let's see how the power situation is now. It should no longer be draining. We are now charging. Alright. I need to get more MFSUs made. That's just all there is to it. Uh, I need to get a whole lot more of them made. Get more power generation going on here. More power storage. And, I don't know, maybe just stack the doggone things vertically. So that the power, you know, read the, feed the power charge into the top one and then have them just stack vertically downward. Let's see, I've got uh, three MFEs, which could be upgraded to an MFSU. Let's see. MFE, advanced machine block, advanced circuit, and six lapo crystals. Okay, well, advanced circuit. Not a problem. I've got enough right now to do two of them. As a matter of fact, uh, I might even have some more electrum over here. Yes, I do. Alright. Go ahead and do it right. Alright. Three advanced circuits. Machine blocks, okay. Those were, oh, okay, I need, alright, three machine blocks. Need some carbon plates. And some of these guys. Take care of that. All right. And now 
Now I just need Lapitron Crystals, which I should be able to get here. Oh, crying out loud. Oh, more circuits. Okay. Wait a minute. I don't have golden chipsets or AND gates. Alright, I guess I'll just make some more circuits. And again, the Electrum. Wait a minute. There's some circuits in there. What am I doing? Alright. Okay, this gives me a bunch of them. Let's see if it's enough. It's enough for two for certain, and there might be a third one in that. I don't know. Didn't stop to count them. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Three more MFSUs. All right. Let's see. Get the wrench. Get through the hole in the roof. I really need to get the portable hole research done so that I can stop messing with that. Okay. Yeah. put them down here and run the power lead into the top of them. No, I should have left that last piece there. All right. If I recall correctly, just have to place them from the top and then use the wrench to move the output slot. Okay, that's good. Good. Alright, there's the output dots. Output power hooked up. That's another 30 million EU. And of course, these guys have a charge, or I would go ahead and move them. And I think that later on, the next time they drain, I will disconnect the charging circuit and uh, let them drain and uh, move them into this shaft. For now, just get it all hooked back up again and throw some cobble in there. And keep the riffraff out. Alright, let's head down below. Once everything is charged, I will have a total of 60 million EU. And we are charging. And I know this one shows zero, and it will show zero until the one below it is full. So I'm going to open that up so I can get access to this one. Interesting. The top one has charge going in. Bot the middle one doesn't. And the bottom one does. 
Well, I guess we'll just have to wait until this one on the bottom is full charged and see what happens from there. I'll be back in a bit. Alright, it's taken a while, but this one is now fully charged and the one in the middle is now charging. And the one on top here has most of a full charge. The ones on the roof are behaving similarly. They're charging roughly about evenly, actually. And uh, what I'm going to do is let this thing go and uh, get all six of them fully charged up and then I'm going to start the matter, matter fabricator and see just how long it takes to drain 600,000 or 60,000 EU 600,000 I wish <laughs> anyway in the meanwhile if I re uh, let's see I don't remember it was something else but I can't remember what it was but uh, in any event, I did a little bit of quick mass with the solar panels. In the daytime, they generate 8 EU per tick each, which times 64 is 512 EU per tick coming off the solar array. At night or in the rain, they generate 1 EU per tick, which is 64 total. So, not bad. And... Uh, these things don't seem to say how much they generate per tick. Oh, that's right, I remember. They're about 24 per tick for those thermal generators. And there's like uh, 52 of them up here. And I'm going to need to get cracking sometime soon on uh, making up the stuff to make another 64 advanced solar panels. But, before doing that, See, I've got another Greg Tech machine, the industrial grinder. And I've got some of the uh, machine casings needed for it. I do need some advanced machine casings. I believe I need eight of them for uh, installing this machine. And a water supply and so on. And I'm going to work on that between now and the next episode. And the next quarry run is going to feed its output to the industrial grinder instead of the pulverizers because uh, the industrial grinder produces the primary ore plus a few extra things on the side so I'll be doing some of that and I'm also going to be working on getting some more Greg Tech machines uh, the industrial blast furnace and industrial electrolyzer will be set up as well. And I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm kind of torn between uh, expanding this floor or building them down on the third floor that I started recently and hadn't gotten very far on. I've been expanding downward, down to here. I've got it marked out where it's going to be. I just hadn't actually done with it. I put this in so that I could hook the plumbing up for the <coughs> so that I could hook the plumbing I put this in so that I could hook the plumbing up for the uh, matter fabricator this arrangement here so that I could have uh, scrap boxes being auto crafted send them into a barrel and then have a uh, filter here on a timer to load them up into the hoppers which are mostly full right now so I'm going to leave it and I'm not going to turn this back on until the whole system is fully charged anyway because I'm just morbidly curious I want to see how fast it can drain 60 million EU so I think that's pretty much about it for this episode I'm going to be making some more of these gates I've got uh, redstone pulsating and even a few redstone diamond chipsets I'm going to be making a few of the advanced gates that will be needed in uh, or make it easier to make certain of the other Greg Tech machines um, I don't even remember which one now I think it was the blast furnace the industrial blast furnace no, it wasn't that. I need to make a regular blast furnace and uh, a 
coke oven too and start getting some steel production going but uh, there's a bunch of little things that I need to get working on in order to make some bigger things you know how it is you need to make this in order to make that so I'm going to be working on that and we'll have another update soon and my that looks cool first iridium ore first UU matter and yes it does look like a pink jelly bean <laughs> alright thanks for watching take it easy I'm out of here